And what a brave hero Barbaro is. Thank you, Barbaro. So here is Mark already on the stage, back here in the light on the, on the right spot. Uh, this is Mark Bleimarkus, guys. This is him. We all wanted to see Mark, of course, and here he is. Mark Bleimarkus is a good one if you need to translate ideas into visuals. And he has a special interest in education. Mark, tell us about it. Paint us a picture. I will, thank you. Hello. I want to introduce the iPhone. It's a great device to make calls, take pictures and send messages. Sometimes it just works better to show something. Our minds like to think visually. And thinking visually helps us remember things more easy, but it also helps us understand complex things. The remembering part is easy because when we uh, process visual information, our right and left sides of our brain start working together, and that makes it easier to remember. And this is not a, a new concept. People have known this for years. Back uh, thousands of years ago, people made cave paintings. And they, they used this to tell their stories, convey their ideas. And with cave paintings, well, everyone can look at this and know what it means. It's simple. Everybody gets it. But for the past couple hundred years, a lot of information turned into text. And when it's text, it's true. If it's in a book, it's true. But technology caused, uh, th caused this to change uh, into a more, of caused us to change back to a more visual era. In fact, 90% of the information we created the past two years was visual information, visual data. Think about Facebook, Snapchat, uh, Instagram, it's all about visuals. And think about the way you use your phone. You don't search for the app name, you look at the app icon. You don't tell someone, well, I'm laughing so hard that tears are coming out of my face. You use an emoji. And if someone sees that brand, you know what it means. But those are simple things. And I'm going to try to show you how can you simplify or make something uh, complex. Simply, uh, how can you visualize something complex to make it understandable to everybody? And the most simple way to do that is to draw. And I feel terrible now because Barbo was talking about littering, and in the break, I littered a bit. You have pens and papers lying all around. But first, I want to know, who can't draw? Who is very bad at drawing? Can't draw. No? Bullshit. Everyone can draw. If you can hold a pen and put it to paper, you can draw. But of course, I'm not just going to tell you. I'm going to show you. And like Anna said, we're going to learn by doing. So please take the next couple of seconds to make sure you have a piece of paper and a pen. There's enough lying around. I'll clean it up afterwards, Barbo. <laughs> Who doesn't have pen or paper? Raise your hand. Everybody got one? OK. So what we're going to do is we're going to make four very simple pictures. Very simple. It do you don't have to be Leonardo da Vinci or whoever to make a drawing. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to divide the paper into four squares, like this illustration illustrates. The first thing in the first box you're going to draw is a brain with an eye inside. So draw a brain with an eye. It symbolizes our visual thinking. In the second box, you'll draw, uh, you'll draw someone using a smartphone. So a person using a smartphone. Doesn't have to be a fancy smartphone, just a simple one. Third box, a sad face with a question mark. A simple sad face with a question mark. It symbolizes a complex problem. And in the final, uh, final box, you'll draw a pen or a pencil drawing a line. A pen or a pencil drawing a line. 
And congratulations, you just made a visual summary of the first part of my talk. <laughs> you, you, uh, you visually explain, we think visually, technology changed the way we think about simple things, but to become better visual communicators and explain complex things, we have to draw and don't be afraid to draw. So the next time you have something complex and you want to show it to someone, please paint them a picture. Thank you very much. Thank <laughs> you.